Hey everyone, I'd like to start off by saying this is my biggest project ever. So much time and effort has gone into this video so I can cover everything on this UTSC iceberg. If you haven't already realised, UTSC means Undertale Soundcloud Community and this video consists of events that have happened since the UTSC began. So grab a drink, do whatever you feel like you need to do before you watch this video. The first thing on this iceberg is Megalos, aka fan-made Megalovanias that people make for Undertale AUs. Back when the UTSC first started, every song that was made in the community was either a custom Megalovania or anything related to the Skeleton Brothers. Everyone always wondered who Megalovania belonged to, to which started the Megalocara versus Megalo Sans debate. Is Megalovania Sans theme or Cara's? Back when fan-made Undertale content started to become popular, this belief Papyrus was one of the first Undertale fan creations to exist. The battle songs that played behind the animation were actually not created by the creator of the animation, but a chiptune musician that had no connections to the Undertale community whatsoever, called Don't Blink or You'll Die. As soon as AU themes started to become a huge thing, Many people started walking down the path to become a musician so they can make music for their own fan AU. Alphys Takes Action was a fan made battle theme for Alphys since she never really had a battle of her own, which sucks because an Alphys battle would have been so cool. Nick Nitro was a musician heavily based around Undertale fan creations. Back when Undertale was created, NYX The Shield helped a lot with making tracks for well-known Undertale fan animations such as Underverse and Glitch Tale. <laughs> Different Topic was an Undertale AU that replaced the main Undertale cast with well-known video game characters from a bunch of different video game franchises. This AU had its very own soundtrack and the most memorable song from it was the Megalovania replacement called Execution, which later had a name change and turned into Confronting Yourself. Sasta the Dudester, also known as Sasta, was a musician from the UTSC known for his custom Megalovanias and Undertale themes. Dropoff was one of the biggest musicians and inspirations for many of the members in the UTSC. He was known for his Neutral Sands fight theme, Tears in the Rain. Many musicians in the UTSC would tend to rip samples and take instruments that Dropoff had used in his Undertale fan works to put into their own works. Erkin drum samples were the go-to drum samples to use when creating your first Undertale fan creation, which is why I decided to put this on the iceberg. Many people might find this instrument familiar. Can you guess where this instrument originates from? It was originally from the Nintendo 64 game, Super Mario 64. You can hear this instrument when you enter Dia Dia Docks. Many UTSC musicians decided to use this instrument for their own megalovanias to make it sound more unique. Many people tend to use sound fonts when making their custom Undertale fan creations. The most, sound the most used sound fonts being Tohu, CGM and Earthbound. Many musicians in the Undertale fandom tried their best to recreate popular songs from the soundtrack, some taking years to perfectly recreate to sound exactly like the original. <laughs> Tales of the Cloud was a self-insert AU created by Dropoff, which got rid of the original Undertale cast and replaced them with Dropoff and his friends. <laughs> Bullet Hell was a Megalovania replacement for an AU called Sudden Changes which many members in the UCSC remember it for being sans with a gun. Real 8 was a guitar plugin which was used by UCSC musicians to use as a backing guitar for their fan songs. Same as the last one, Shreddage 2 was used in a lot of Undertale fan creations for the backing guitar. Many musicians from the UCSC created zip files full of project files that they have made throughout their time in the community. 
people would try to remake Underswap to what they see fit, giving the cast new outfits, new personalities, and giving the AU an entire new soundtrack. Insta Audio was a website where musicians could upload music files onto it for others to see. UTSC members use this website to post previews of upcoming songs or just to upload the full song due to SoundCloud compressing songs. In the UTSC, there were many friend groups consisting of different people from the community. A lot of these friend groups had a special name to represent the friend group. Back in the early days of the UTSC, whenever someone was upset or not feeling good mentally, they would add depressed at the end of their name to show people that they're not feeling all that great alongside of setting the icon to black people saw the utsc as a toxic environment due to all the call out posts people were making on other creators causing arguments and other complications to all people in the community many people in the utsc were getting targeted for not being original due to all the custom megalovanias being made and nothing else so to make themselves a bit more unique, they would end up making an original once or twice to experiment. Back in 2018, Dropoff would undergo some disgusting accusations by someone called Mint, suggesting that he sexually harassed her. Dropoff made an hour-long video fighting back against these allegations with evidence and screenshots to prove his point, eventually convincing people that Mint was lying. RQ Razumi, like Sasta and Dropoff, was a well-known UTSC musician, loved by the community. Mars Starbro was another UTSC musician that would end up being another well-known member in the community. Back in 2019-2020, people would call out Sasser's friends for being clones of him by copying Sasser's style of music and being unoriginal. People assumed that Gaster's stream was hidden in every single Undertale AU song, assuming that he had a huge part in the alternate universes. Many people in the fandom were adamant that Megalo Strike Back was Kara's theme, but the song was never to be heard in the original soundtrack, but instead Megalo Strike Back was used in an old Earthbound fan album Toby Fox had made many years ago, but the fandom has accepted that the song is Kara's theme despite it not being official. Back in 2019-2020, many people would create alternate accounts on SoundCloud or Discord to trick people into thinking they were completely new people. Some people made alts to change their identities because they were kicked out of the UTSC for being a bad person, and other people would make alts just to mess with people. Boo Bass is a default bass instrument inc included in FL Studio. Many UTSC musicians use this in their songs. A bunch of UTSC members such as myself used to have this bad habit of changing our names once every month. Most people watching this video may know about the musician Saruki. They currently reside in the Friday Night Funkin community as I'm writing this. They used to change their name all the time as well. Their most recognisable names in the UTSC were Dice Ferial, Trime, Weehee Doom, Dinako and Typical Heist. Every time a new UTSC musician came around back in 2018-2019, they were given a zip file with cracked plugins for Contact 5 and Shreddage 2. Undertale Halloween hack was inspired by the old Earthbound Halloween hack Toby Fox had made before he started production on Undertale. Instead of it being based around Earthbound characters, it puts the Undertale cast into a different scenario. Back in 2018-2019, there was a Discord server with, where people could join to get help from other people to recreate the Undertale soundtrack. This included midis, plugins and presets. There was a phase in the UTSC where musicians would make custom megalos sound very different to the usual Toby Fox style. Instead of the classic VGM style, people would make electronic megalovanias that would sound completely different to Toby Fox's work. Recognized Maniacs was another self-insert AU, but this time the roles were based around fan-made Megalovanias that the UTSC had created. The Megalovania replacements from many fan-made Undertale AUs replaced the original Undertale cast. You're probably confused about how this would have worked and played out, so let me explain. So let me explain a bit better. Basically, a custom Megalovania would replace a certain character from Undertale, but instead of a song taking the role, the creator of said song would take the role, and their personality would be based around the Megalovania. Quite a few UTSC musicians, such as myself, 
wanted to experiment with their music more so it wasn't always Undertale related. So they decided to start creating Sonic Mania style tracks or songs from the old classic Sonic games from the 90s. Same as the last one, some UTSC members would want to expand into different communities. Some ended up going into the King for Another Day community, which consisted of mashups of already existing songs. Many people speculate that Friday Night Funkin' drove everyone from UTSC to start making FNF styled songs for fan mods, leading towards the UTSC's decline in popularity. Syndicta is the Megalovania replacement for recognised maniacs. This song is basically a megalovania made out of other megalovanias. AU Hell was a private Discord server for big UTSC names to talk and chat in. A group of UTSC members would come together to make a collab account on SoundCloud, which would end up uploading collaborative songs that the group would work on. A lot of UTSC members would use a snare sample in their songs. It's used so much, but nobody ever talks about it which is why this is at the bottom of the iceberg. In 2019, Dropoff would announce his departure from the UTSC due to the amount of stress he had been dealing with up to this point. After his departure, people would end up finding his secret SoundCloud account he had posted onto, which ended up in the account's deletion due to it being found. In 2019, there was a bit of a trend going on with people making fake Dropoff clone accounts on SoundCloud where people would act like Dropoff, but under new names. This caused a bunch of new tracks to be created that sound identical to Drop Off's old style. This sample was used by UTSC members for their backing guitars in their songs. This sample had originated from Drop Off and it ended up with many people taking it and using it for themselves. Dave Minecraft Trapped was a shitpost Undertale alternate universe based around video game Minecraft. This account would pretend to be a singular little kid making a stupid Undertale universe. But as soon as the entire soundtrack was finished, the account revealed that a group of people were running this project. The success from this AU would end up producing a bunch of clones trying to copy its success, but none of them lived up to the hype the original had given people. QTSC had many people who were called out for stupid things, but most times, the callouts were absolutely needed. There were so many people who got called out for being a creep and it hasn't stopped since. Closure Code was a public Discord server that was made for a collaborative group who remade already existing Megalovanias. This server was known for being toxic and harmful to people who joined there. People tried calling out the owners and admins of this server for trolling their members, which led people into hating the server and calling it the bad side of the UTSC. For the last two years, the community has been slowly dying as more and more people have been leaving to go do something else. Many people left to work on achieving their future goals, and many people moved communities to get a name there. Only a certain amount of people carried on making Undertale fanworks, just out of the nostalgia for the old UCSC days. A lot of people in this community ended up getting doxxed or DDoSed for either being a bad person or due to people wanting to mess around. People say this was one of the reasons why the UCSC started dying. Many big names in the UCSC would end up getting an impersonation account towards them, pretending to be them. This resulted in a lot of commotion and confusion in the community. In the early days of the UTSC, there was a musician known as ICC. They made a lot of fan creations of Megalovania as well. They would end up making a SoundCloud post announcing their suicide because they had declining mental health. Because of their declining mental health, ICC would post this and not upload for months, but as soon as they made the post, they had created a new account under the name Swunks, which they would post music onto until they joined the voice chat in a Discord server and someone recognised their voice, leading to people finding out that Swunks was ICC. Back in 2018, I would always end up changing my artist name. People today say that I had the most name changes in the UCSC. Wiki Doom was a secret alt of Sarukis as they made a post where they announced their departure from the UTSC. It eventually got out that Suzuki owned the account and it later turned into a collab account. By now you've probably noticed that many times people have said they're leaving the UTSC but ended up winding back here. But ended up winding back here. People say the UTSC is a curse and people can never leave, but is that really true? 
Since Tales of the Cloud was made, many people tried to make their own self insert AUs with their friends, replacing the original Undertale cast. Some failed and some actually went really well. Tropic TV was an old UCSC member, like everyone else, but a rumour went round saying that Tropic TV was actually Evan Tube HD, you know, the kid who ate that huge gummy worm. Apparently, this rumour ended up being true and we were actually making music alongside this guy.